It's laptop hard drive day here at Gadget Class. And today I'm going to show you uh, what I believe is the, probably the best uh, combination of hard drives you can put in your laptop to get the, the best performance with the highest amount of storage capacity and not be uh, hurting for performance or storage capacity. Um, so I just did a video on the 850 EVO solid state hard drive. Uh, that's going to be step one. You always want to start with the you know, probably the biggest and the best solid state hard drive you can buy within your budget. And right now the 850 EVO for, you know, the end of 2014, 2015, the 850 EVO is the best all around performer and the best bang for the buck. So go with a 250 or a 500 gigabyte solid state drive. And then I, I recommend going with a secondary drive just for storage. And for that reason, um, I usually get a laptop with a uh, optical drive and I pull that optical drive out, get a second hard drive caddy and I'll put the second storage drive in that optical place. Because let's face it, I don't really use optical discs anymore. Um, it's maybe once every couple months that you end up using a DVD for storage or you want to uh, install some old program or something. Uh, but pretty much nowadays, everything's done with memory cards and downloads anyways. So your second drive bay is going to be much better served by a storage drive. And what I've got here is the Samsung SpinPoint M9T. This is a 2 terabyte 5400 RPM drive. And I'll put links to both of these down in the description below. Make sure you check out those links and uh, use my links to support the channel. Um, but this is uh, only... About uh, you can get them for under 130. I think I got this for 119 on sale. Um, two terabytes. Okay, it is 5400 RPMs, but since this is going to be my primary storage device, and all mass file transfers are going to be on the disk itself, you're not going to notice a whole lot of lag because all the files are going to be moved around and just changed in the file structure table on the hard drive itself. The only time you're going to notice a lot of lag is when you're transferring large amounts of files between the two. As far as performance go, all my apps, all my programs, all of my 3D application games, um, you know, all my video editing is going to be done off of this hard drive. So all the performance is going to be there. And it's 500 gigabytes, so I got plenty of room to play with for all my videos, all my games, all my 3D graphics, everything on that hard drive. This is going to be for pictures, music, and videos primarily. All my old disk images, everything is going to go on this drive for storage, and it's only going to be accessed for, you know, it's primarily going to be a media server. Um, so in that regard, 5400 RPMs is not a big deal. Um, it's going to feed... You know, if you're copying files off your phone, off of an external hard drive, you're going to be feeding it, um, you know, 5400 RPM, it's going to be receiving the data just as fast as any USB or ESATA drive can feed it anyways. So you're not going to notice a big, huge performance loss there. Um, so as a storage setup, that's going to be the way to go. Take out that optical drive, put in a secondary hard drive. I'll put a link down below where you can get the hard, secondary hard drive caddies for almost any laptop with an optical drive. You can pull that optical drive out, put this in a hard drive caddy, stick that in the optical drive slot, and you've got two hard drives. Um, if you've got uh, a higher end laptop, it probably already has two bays. You can just throw a secondary hard drive in there. Um, but in terms of best storage bank for the buck, you're going to want an SSD for performance and a bigger drive for storage. Um, that's the best all around setup. If you're going for ultimate performance and you got plenty of money, go ahead and put two SSDs in there, put them in a RAID configuration, and you know, you're going to be even more golden. But I want my laptop to be both a media server, a gaming station, a video editing platform. I want my laptop to be able to do everything really well. So that's why I got the big solid state hard drive and the big um, standard spin drive. Um, this is the biggest uh, the biggest drive in the nine nine and a half millimeter size uh, format that you can get. Uh, Samsung is the only one making the two gigabyte hard drive at that size. Uh, there is like an eleven and a half millimeter one out there. Um, but this one is doing the best. And Samsung is leading the market. Uh, Seagate, uh, Samsung bought out Seagate and they've made some internal changes and they're actually leading the market now. 
Uh, they got their new 3D VNAND technology. I mean, they got the the biggest uh, 9mm uh, standard drive on the market. Um, I'm really happy with where Samsung's going. They actually have some of the best memory cards on the market now. <laughs> They're poised to be the market leader for a long time to come. So I went with two Samsung drives and I'll be perfectly happy. Be sure to check out my other videos. I'm going to show installation, how to properly clone and set up an SSD, how to go ahead and do the secondary drive bay thing with a hard drive like this, and how to set up the ultimate laptop here uh, for 2015. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video.